okay so um hello everyone so i'm gonna be um showing us a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually download and treat your trust toilet app it's actually very easy and straightforward so uh, i'm using an iphone so i'm going to actually go to my app store so i'll search for app store and then here i'll have to type trust wallet so there are pop-ups so i click on trust wallet here so i'll click on the trust wallet option so here it is so i click on get so i click on get and um, so yeah it's installing so i have to verify myself first for it to start installing so yeah it has started installing so um if you are using um an android phone so i think it's basically the same step you go to your google play store then you search for trust wallets make sure that the logo is actually the same like this so you search for trust wallet and then you click on install so it's basically the same step whether you're using an iphone or an android so yeah it's installing so um uh, make sure you keep your pen and paper beside you for recording purposes so that you can actually use it to save your secret phrase afterwards after you have created your wallet so um so yeah i'm done downloading it so yeah welcome to my trust toilet so um so there are two options there you saw there is create new wallet there is already have a wallet so since i'm doing this for the first time here i'm gonna click on create new wallet yeah so i click on create new one this is what i have i create a passcode which should only contain numbers so i'm gonna just type in my passcode type in the passcode that you can always remember because you're going to be needing it so yeah i have to reconfirm the passcode that i've typed again yeah and then i enable my face id so that i can actually unlock this wallet using my face anytime i want so i allow yeah face id enabled and then um i also enable my notification Fund your wallet no i'll skip this because i'm not funding it now i'll this tutorial will come later so yeah welcome to my new trust wallet skip 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 this what's new skip i don't want to know now so yeah this is my trust wallet now so for you to get your secret phrase listen go to top where you have your main wallet here written here so you click on it so um you know why you were creating you didn't get it so you click on that main wallet so now there are two options here backup manually backup to iCloud so I click on backup manually for Android users you have to tap these three icons there to see you so I enter my passcode to verify with my face so here this secret phrase unlocks your wallet so there are two um, terms and conditions here trust wallet does not have access to this key don't save it in any digital form write it out on paper so um, you have to get a paper red paper and pen ready so i click on this and then i click on continue to review my secret phrase so um manual backup never share your secret phrase with anyone and store it secret securely yes continue so i click on continue so your secret phrase is actually very important please do not share it with anybody no matter how close you are with that person because this is if anyone has access to this the person can easily do whatever the person wants with your assets so this is my secret phrase here um so i'm gonna write it down somewhere and keep it safe write it in the order that it appears look one two three four five so they are numbered so make sure that you write it down in order because when you're entering it you need to enter it from the number one to the last in small letters so you make sure that you copy it correctly in the number that it actually appears so now i'm going to need to they need to confirm that i actually saved this correctly so this is number they asked me to put number two sign number what number three weekend what number six time what number 11 or pose so i'm looking at where i copied it so i'm getting the order that it actually appears so i can actually do it right so i click on confirm so yes it's ready that means i did what i did right so my wallet is ready so you, here you can actually change the name of your wallet to anything you like so i'm going to change this main wallet to coming soon yeah so or you can actually write my first wallet or whatever you know any cool name that you actually like you can change it to say so, so yeah my wallet name is coming soon i've changed it so um my wallet is ready to use now so um since we're actually dealing with bnb chain here and bnb i'm going to have to import um some tokens and chains to my wallet so i'll click on you have found your wallet you have managed crypto so i'm going to click on manage crypto here 
so after clicking on it you see the search bar here so i'm gonna type in bnb and the search bar so here there is this first one here bnb beacon chain that is not what we are working with then there is the second one bnb smart chain there is opbnb please be careful what we the one we are working with is the second one bnb you can see the bnb smart chain tag at the front so i tick it i tick it so as i've ticked it it has appeared inside my wallet so now um i'm gonna also add bitcoin to my wallet so i'm going to enable bitcoin on my wallet so this is bitcoin here on bitcoin chain you can see the bitcoin tag there so i enable it so i'm gonna add wiki cards on my wallet wiki card solana i'm gonna tick it so i'll take it to add it to my wallet so you can do this for any other coin that you actually want to be visible in your wallet so um if you if you want to add shiba dogecoin um whatever coin that you're holding or that you want to buy you can actually search for it here and then tick it and then to enable it inside your wallet so here i want to add usdt but i want to add usdt on binance smart chain on bnb smart chain so you know there are different chains like they're basically like four there are like hundreds thousands of chains out there blockchains out there where other tokens can actually build their other projects can actually build their coins just like we're building our own project on binance smart chain so there are other chains like bitcoin which is the first one with um bitcoin is it native token used to pay for transaction fees on binance uh, bitcoin chain then there is ethereum with ethereum token um ethereum token ethereum coin is used to pay for all transaction fees on ethereum chain and then there is BN, uh, bnb smart chain which has bnb coin now bnb coin is used to pay for all transaction fees on bnb smart chain so um there is also solana um solana has so so coin which is used to pay for all transaction fees on solana okay so um for this for i want to add usdt to my wallet so um you can see here I typed usdt then you can see the first one here usdt you can see the ethereum tag in front of it showing us that this particular usdt coin here is on ethereum chain then you can see the second one here is on tron chain you can see the tron tag in front of it then um so what we are looking for here is usdt on, BN, on bnb smart chain so i'm looking for the one that has bn bnb smart chain in front of i'm looking for the usdt that has bnb smart chain on it so yeah i'm gonna search 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 for the one i'm looking for so you know basically we have like four um four top network four top chains we have bitcoin which um uses bitcoin bitcoin for to you know take care of each transaction fees we have ethereum with ethereum as its native ethereum coin as its native token um where they use ethereum for all transaction fees on the chain so here i choose network so i clicked on bnb chain and then it's showing all the different types of usdt on bnb smart chain so um i'll just i just want to add just bnb just usdt not all this other one that has other tags so this is the usdt i'm looking for that is the third to the last usdt there you can see the bnb smart chain tag in front of it then below it you can see the theta usd below it so um this is the one i'm working with so i click on it so you can see that all the coins all the coins that have that i ticked um at the other phase has all appeared here so i've added these coins to my trust wallet here um then the next step is um if i want to if i want to um receive bnb coin from another wallet so i click on bnb and then i click on receive so then i click on copy so you can see the um pop up here transfer to deposit from exchange by direct transfer so i click on copy here this is my wallet address where i can uh, send crypto bnb to this trust wallet so i copy this i click on copy so um after copying it then if i want to transfer from buy beats buy gate binance exchange or whatever so i copy the i copy the wallet and then i go there paste it and all that so the same thing applies if i want to um send if i want to um 
receive usdt so I, I click on usdt and then i come here click on receive so this is the same it's, it's the same wallet because they are all on bnb smashing so it's the same wallet click and then send so um if i want to send out um bnb from this wallet to another wallet maybe to my buy bit to my binance to my bitgate account if i want to send out instead of receiving so i'm going to click on bnb smart chain then instead of clicking on receive this time around i'm going to click on send so i'll have to go back to whichever exchange or wallet that i want to send out coin from here to then i'll copy the wallet address for from there and then i'll paste it here address or domain name i'll paste it here so this is this wallet i'm actually writing here is, is wrong so I'm, it's just for um example purpose so invalid wallet so i have to copy and paste here and then after pasting the wallet that i want to send out my bnb from my trust wallet to then i'll enter the number of bnb that i want to send if it's 0 0.1 if it's one bnb if it's two bnb any amount of bnb but then you must know that whatever you are typing here must be equivalent or at least less than what you have in your wallet so the usdt equivalent will show below here when you put it so after entering the the amount of bnb that you want to send out from this your trust wallet to another wallet then you click on next and then it will show you a confirmation pop-up for you to actually click on send and all that then it will go through so um basically that's it for uh creating for downloading creating and then you know copying out your wallet